There are few museums that can claim to accomplish what architects James Sterling and Michael Wilford accomplished with their design of the new Staatsgalerie in Stuttgart, in Germany. The contest held in 1977 for the design of an addition to the original Staatsgalerie called for the structure that would speak to the 19th century classicism of the original building and also would include a pedestrian path cut through the site. The result presented by James Sterling and Michael Wilford was both fitting to the demands of the city program, but more importantly it suited the demands of the local patrons. After completion in 1984, the museum quickly became astoundingly popular with the locals. The ability for anyone to be able to experience the exterior spaces of the museum allowed for the development of these spaces into public gathering areas. On the interior, a series of gallery spaces in the shape of a U lent themselves to make for a truly unique gallery experience. What one may notice upon first arriving at the gallery are the brightly colored and oversized elements that decorate the building. Large, curved windows painted in lime green and bright red handrails instantly give the onlooker the feeling of a postmodern aesthetic. However, as written in the New York Times by Paul Goldberger, the Stuttgart Museum may not seem at first further from classicism, but these elements turn out to be nothing more than an overlay on a building that, deep down, isn't quite traditional. This tradition can be seen through the carrying through of the cornice heights, floor levels, as well as the creation of a hollow circular space reminiscent of the Pantheon in the center of the museum. Today, architects refer to this move as the hollow monument, since essentially the monument is created from a void of space instead of the creation of space. Overall, the monument created by James Sterling and Michael Wilford is one that has been a precedent for future museums.